Hello. I'm going to be reading uh, from a book called Body of Evidence, and also my two little leaflets. So, Body of Evidence, a collection of killer coup. <laughs> this is an anthology of crime-themed haiku, and it's a story of collaboration. So, first I want to thank my co-editor, Jessica Simon, uh, because it was her idea. And uh, then I want to thank public libraries everywhere, but in particular, the Whitehorse Public Library, because they have a display space that is free for people to use and for people to view. So, um, thanks to public libraries. And also, I want to thank all the contributors, because when we put the call out for crime-themed haiku, uh, people sent their work in. And uh, so that was really wonderful. And Jessica was able to add, uh, she had the haiku printed on little cards, and she added them to her display for National Crime Writing Month, which is May in Canada. And uh, she knew that the Haiku Canada Weekend was going to be in Whitehorse, that was in uh, 2016. So the haiku poets could come and see their haiku in her display. And, um, and at, so at, after that, and the display was, being taken down, and uh, people were sad, and the librarians had actually been really happy with the response uh, to the display, and, um, and then we got a call from Claudia Radmore, um, who suggested that if Jessica and I put together a manuscript, that Cat Kim Press would publish it in, in a book. So thank you, Claudia, because now we have a book. So we, didn't, so we selected poems from the display for the book. And I was in charge of the haikuness of the haiku that was selected. And Jessica was in charge of the criminess. <laughs> and we had a lot of fun coming up with the titles for the sections of the book. And I'm just going to read a few. So from Violence Against Women and Children by Terry Ann Carter. Her mother-in-law whispers, it's a crime to wear that dress. Her mother-in-law whispers, it's a crime to wear that dress. And from B and E, this by Jackie Pierce. Spring bank heist, an explosion of cherry petals. Spring bank heist, an explosion of cherry petals. And then we had uh, nature of the crime. That's how we got some nature poems in there. <laughs> this by Carol McCreary. Cold case, nothing in the nest but broken eggs. Cold case, nothing in the nest but broken eggs. And from Scene of the Crime, by Vicki McCullough, a steaming pot of tea, the murderer, the victim, and the scapegoat. A steaming pot of tea, the murderer, the victim, and the scapegoat. And finally, from uh, Procedurals, This is by David McMurray. Evening sun, police question unanswered, enters the sea. Evening sun, police question unanswered, enters the sea. So now I'm going to read. So my first leaflet came out in uh, 2014 and then I have one just from this summer. They're both by Leaf Press, which is a small press on Vancouver Island, and they publish poetry only. 
and this is called Summer Evening. Summer Evening, through the open window, bird song. Summer Evening, the house with the bird cage, doors open. Summer Evening, people gather looking skyward. Can you see it? Summer evening, green flash in the trees, the setting sun. Summer evening, empty bird cage left near a tree in the fading light. And this one is called Waiting, and it's number five in the Sky Leaflet series. Waiting. Floral curtains in the doctor's office frame the wintry scene. Red clusters of frozen berries by bare branches. I memorize a mountain ash, doctor running late. Waiting room, dead leaves surround the only plant. The nurse calls my name. I stand, hands open. Thank you.